is up guys in gamma retro here and welcome back to foregone for the pc last episode i completed the chambers for the only mistake i took care of the uh, project poseidon or well, it's harold version and uh, about to start the final area the atrium for i remember nothing but i actually showed off some of the um, the new updates for the live version for the game because it went live on uh, March 1st on Steam and Epic Store. And it uh, looks like they just um, updated like the graphics for like the backdrop for the items. They still kept the same color, but they added like different little designs behind them and whatnot. Gave descriptions on like some of the weapons on what they actually do in combat. Like the falchions greatly increased recharge skills and daggers each hit has an increased chance to inflict status. I think the short sword. Uh, I think it said something like cripples enemies on the last blow. Spears, I think, recharge more ammo. And the freaking gunchucks. I think the last blow has a chance to, like, immobilize or something. I don't fucking remember. But I was just running through the chambers again, and I managed to get these to drop. Like, holy crap. Oh, yeah, so it turns out the, um, this is called legendary. The yellow ones and the red ones are called mythic level so it's it's normal rare epic legendary and then mythic for these yeah so like 215 attack power because like the 19 percent damage with the falchion uh kicks it to like 170 something so yeah i still have a good like 40 50 or so points practically for this one i do lose the chance to inflict plague but i don't really give a crap when i can stun again and an increased attack speed <clears throat> and all that. Maybe it's from 295 to 354, so holy crap, yes. And then I managed to get this to drop. So adds two more to physical, but I lose restoration channel speed and haste duration. But the haste duration is actually like, what, 6.85? Not the 5, so I mean, I lose like a second and a half or so. But uh, I get more physical and I get damage over time, plus a little bit more health. 462 to 465 is not much, but it does add that extra defense. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that. They also added a new thingy on here. You can talk to a dispatcher and he'll give you missions, apparently, in all the stages. Uh, they have a beacon you can activate, and when you do so, it'll actually unlock a mission that you can do for stuff. But I'm actually going to worry about these in a separate episode after I've beaten the game. Alrighty, so on to the atrium for I Remember Nothing. Get this game freaking over and done with. Or at least the main game over and done with. And I'm so sorry it took me so long to get to this game. It's so freaking awesome. I mean, it's like so fast. Zeus. You've arrived, Mother. Welcome to my palace. Or as the guards prefer to call it, my prison. You know why I've come. You're going to kill me. Was torturing me not enough? Abandoning me? You know that I did it for Caligan. You were going to become an arbiter. You were going to win the war. What a bright future. Would you like to see the truth? Whoa. What? No. Are He's you a big boy? I am what you made me, mother. The Harrow Incarnate, stronger than any arbiter. You have given me a gift. Now I can deliver justice to those who would abuse and abandon the weak. I can rid this world of its corrupt rulers and take the throne. Don't do this. I can't let you release the Harrow. You cannot stop destiny, Ooh. mother! Okay. Oh, ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! Ah. 
like those red attacks. So this is the power of a true Arbiter. I'm sorry, but it's time. Killing me will not erase your mistakes. You think you can pretend I never happened? But you will never forget. I can give you the atonement you crave, Mother. You need only make one last sacrifice. Kill him or spare him? Jeez. Oh, Oof. So that's her son? Holy crap. That's her, like, actual, I guess, child? I don't know if it's, like, biological or adopted, but holy crap. It's like... Eh? Try I... spare? I can't do this. I can't. <laughs> You've made the right choice. Let me free you of your guilt, mother. Oh shit. And uh. after you, the world. Oh, uh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh. Ha <laughs> Um. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay, that was absolutely horrible. Let me go ahead and try that again. And not be a fucking derp this time. I'm gonna just skip all this. Eh, no. Okay, 
So this is the power of a true arbiter. God, that voice actor it's sounds time. so damn familiar. But it's time. I know I've heard another game before. Killing me will not erase your mistakes. You think you can pretend I never happened? But you will never forget. I can give you the atonement you crave, Mother. You need only make one last sacrifice. Yeah, I'm gonna go... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fucking murder your ass. I love you. But I can't sacrifice this world for you. Love? You know nothing of love. When I die, you will have nothing but your guilt to hold on to. Now, end it. Damn. Just like that, she just wipes out the Harrow and its source. Her son, that's fucked up. Jesus Christ. Damn. That's a shit ending regardless. Holy crap. That's, I mean, not shit ending, but I mean, like, horrible ending. You have to kill your son. It's like, god damn. And there we have it, guys. Uh, the conclusion to Foregone. Oh, god, I want to give a big shout out to the GDWC and for Big Blue Bubble Games for sending me a copy of this. It was super appreciated, guys. I loved the shit out of this. Uh, I don't, I'm not really even really sure what to say. It's like the controls were awesome, the graphics and the animation and art style I freaking, you know, love to death because I'm into like the like retro style games like 8 bit, 16 bit, what have you. Uh, controls were super awesome and fluid. Uh, my only issue is that every so often when I use Ground Smash, and I keep wanting to say Ground Pound, I know it's not called that, Ground Smash, um, if an enemy hits me as I make contact with the ground, because you have noticed that I've... Wolf William is use. Um, when I accidentally hit ground pound, when I'm trying to double jump or do whatever, and I hit the ground at the same time an enemy hits me, sometimes it'll get me stuck in the ground, and I have to just, like, randomly hit a bunch of buttons to kind of unstick. I don't know if you're working on that right now. But yeah, that's like, an, that's like the only issue that I've really found with that, is like, you're getting stuck inside the ground. Well, not stuck inside the ground, but just when you make contact with the ground from using ground pound, ground smash, and you get hit by an enemy at the same time, you just get stuck. But Jesus Christ, this game was fucking awesome. A lot of people made this. So, good job team. Like, holy crap. Ooh. New game plus? Restart from the beginning while retaining your current character progression. All enemies will be tougher and drop better loot. Bosses will now revive with all other enemies upon teleport. See something? Hardcore one life, death is permanent. Iron Man, one life, death is permanent, no outpost access. Holy shit. Yeah, so that's gonna be a fucking no. Because a new game just keeps the same current game, just enemies are tougher and drop better loot. Bosses will not revive with all other enemies upon teleport. Damn. So you can fight the bosses over and over again if you really wanted to. Damn. I don't know if I want that or not. Might come back later and do like a new game plus or something. I mean, they drop better stuff, you know, right off the bat. But by the time I get back to like the atrium, I should have like really good shit. But I'll probably like worry about that. Like another thing, I'll just go back to my regular game. All right, I know this one's gonna be very, very short. And you know, I just thought about that. I could have came back here and fucking switched out like revive for probably like bastion or barrier or some shit you know could get around that freaking red like full screen attack that what's his name does that was a fucking pain in the ass i 
got all that um, physical resistance, that it probably helped out a lot. But like I said, I'm gonna come back with like another episode uh, and uh, probably take care of all these missions. Or however, I don't know how long it'll actually take for me to get these done. So I don't know if I can do them all in one go or I might like break it up into like different sections or something. I don't know yet. But yeah. Uh, there's a uh, foregone for you guys. At least the main game. So when we come back, I'm gonna start all these extra missions here. So until then, this is Indie Gamer Retro on Foregone. Later, guys.